Good morning, I'm in Williamstown doing a lockup inspection for these two townhouses. Let's see if they're ready for lockup. As you can see, it's a beautiful area here. Brand new homes everywhere. Let's go. So I'm gonna start with the roof. Lucky we've got scaffolding. Let's see what we're dealing with. Don't wanna drop my coffee. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, really nice design, a look upon cladding. However, take a look at this. So we have a roof that discharges onto a box cutter, and then the box cutter discharges onto a sump. And then the sump has an overflow, which is this round bit right there. And this unit has the same design as well, as you can see. Now that is non-compliant. Let me show you why. So not only that AS3500.3 does not state anywhere that a round overflow is permitted, it states that a requirement is that rectangular corner overflow right there and there's a specific method for you to actually work this out. So if you go to the VBA um, YouTube channel, they recently released uh, um, a webinar series for common roof drainage inquiries on false uh, box gutters, which was released um, a couple of weeks ago. And it was presented by this gentleman right here, who I really admire. His name is Neville Campbell. And if you take a look here, it does state here that round holes uh, and vertical... Um, let me zoom it in a bit. Uh, ducts are not deemed to satisfy designs. So what you see right there on this job is non-compliant. And then we see this. Non-compliant. 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 Non-compliant, 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 and definitely non-compliant. Why? Let's see. See this diagram right there from AS3500.3? You can see that the overflow must be open all the way. Um, 25 mil underneath the sole of the box gutter. Have a look at this. So you can see here how the overflow is just a little cutout. It has to be all the way open from the top 25 mil underneath the sole of this box gutter. So you don't believe me, check this out. So there you go. I can smell non-compliant works in the air. Another common issue for this job as well is that you see this section of yeah, this is called an apron so just imagine like, an, like, a, like a piece of flashing that goes over the roof sheet <clears throat> it's an apron and take a look at this so take a look at the third row right here concealed fastened roof sheet which is what we have here and then the next type of cover sloping apron and it needs to be the minimum cover right there into full tray now i'm going to leave this here like this so basically, this this apron flashing should be full into this tray, like this section here. See how it's fully into that tray that was here? So take a look here as well, non-compliant. This one as well, non-compliant. So that's common throughout this uh, roof here. Let's keep digging. And now, see this upstand right there? That's non-compliant as well. And this one as well. This joint relies on silicon only, right there. There should be a pressure flushing installed. Now let's take a look on what's going on here. Whoa, that is one big sump. I wonder if there's any support underneath this sump. No, no support. So this is actually dangerous and it is in breach of the Australian standards as well. So here's an extract from AS3500.3 where it does state that support systems must be continuous to support um, the box gutter. So, and also if you read the notes right here for design loads for support systems, see AS1170.1. And in that standard it does state that it's around um, 110 kilos, I think, um, uh, continual support. If you guys were like, oh yeah, but who's, who the hell's gonna walk on the box gutter in the sump? Take a look at this. A building contractor fined $55,000 over the death of a worker that fell through, I think it's a box cutter or a sump. If you read this article right there, you can actually also download the actual court case and you can read through the whole court case. My condolences to this family, by the way. 
let's go. If you see any other defects here, first of all, this high capacity overflow device is non-compliant. So if you see this extract from the webinar that the VBA did, they do state that inverted pops and other designs uh, as a high capacity overflow device is not deemed to satisfy design. And then also you have this capping right here. This is non-compliant. This is why there has to be an anti-capillary break when it's when the flash is against the flat surface. Um, here's an extract from HP39. So you can see here as well, look at this. No anti-capillary break anywhere. Uh, even on this side as well. So here, this stump as well. There's no support underneath. This is really dangerous. And that slide overflow is not compliant as well. But this roof plumber has done the right thing because you can see the guy does, does change direction here and he's introduced a sump here to capture that. So the actual design is compliant, however the actual sump is not compliant. Because just remember that you can't have a change of direction. So when the water flows in the box cutter, it can't turn. It can turn, but it's not compliant. So another issue is actually those box cutters, the way they finish here, underneath the roof covering. See how there's a gap there? the box cutter should finish with no gaps for, from the underside of this uh, roof sheet take a look at this extract take a screenshot if you like let's go another item that i just picked up right now is this capping right here it must have a minimum downturn of 50 mil as per hb39 so i'm going to use my uh, gauge here and the ruler section of the gauge this is a three-in-one taper gauge so i'll just Place it here, take a nice photo, and it's around 35 mil. Check this out. So this is available right now on our website shop, and uh, make sure you grab one. They told me get a scaffold, they said. It will be safe. It will be very safe. So here's a sump with no support, and here's another one. No support, non-compliant. So all the water is discharging straight, into a mini swimming pool wow mm. and here's another one as well non-compliant check out the water and this is a lock-up stage wow so i'm on the lower roof now and basically we've got a sump here with a side duct as well that goes to nowhere obviously the renderers are probably finished here and also another capping that has a downturn of around 40 mil. Take a look at this. Wow. So some of the cladding is not complete. As you can see, obviously the renderer must have taped this for him to start rendering and stuff. Um, uh, and he's left it open and all the water came inside the home, which is not a good idea. I'll just close this before I go. Do the right thing. Let's go. Take a look at the rubbish. Oh my God. Time to go home. 